Yo, what's going on, guys? My name is Chandler, or the Geek Slays. Welcome back to the Scuffed Ass Podcast, episode 131. We're joined again by the Wonder Weapon. How you doing, man? Hello. <laughs> so, Hello there. now that we've reached episode 131, uh, it's time to finally do something like actually kind of planned on this podcast. I know. That's wild. I Never know, happened I don't know before. I feel about this. But uh, I want to do a content creator tournament. So this episode is just going to be Wonder and I going through and setting up the bracket for the next few episodes. So mm -hmm. as I have more guests on, we'll go through single rounds of the tournament to determine who the <clears throat> best content creator, the best big content creator is. Now, if you're one of the, you know, people in the FTI community, we're not com adding FTI community members currently, though I have thought about doing that as a bracket later and then having it be like Twitter polls that mm -hmm. decide, like, who's the better streamer, geek or hero, and then have it be a Twitter poll and mm -hmm. do that. But I also don't know if I want to do that because, I don't know, that seems people's feelings could get hurt. No one's going to care. No large creator's going to care about the opinions of two randos. Like, right. but you know, when it comes to like the actual community stuff, it's like, we're all friends. I don't, I don't know. I don't want that to be weird. So it's one of those, but we're just going to be focusing on very large creators currently. So, uh, this will be tough is for me because I don't, I don't watch begins. a ton of creators you big don't creators anyway. it's tough it, it I that is going to be not smaller helpful. creators than they do <laughs> that's true you you really do i do i do know who some of them are you know right that's why i wanted you here for. for this episode just because we can bullshit about stuff mm -hmm. but you know you don't have to decide between creators that you don't know right. i'm sure that's going to happen with quite a few people on this because it's impossible to know every creator. I mean, I'm going to, the list is my list. So it's going to be a lot of creators. I know that's mm -hmm. why I want to have guests on to do this. Who do we think deserves the, like, it's not technically going to matter. Right. Mm -hmm. But the bracket's still going to like, there's seeding to this. Who do we think deserves to be the number one seed? It's tough. I don't know. It's tough. Um, well, it, it, and every seem it seems like every you know creator had their big boom and right. you know where right. they were just super. That's all that everybody talked about. Right. It's like, one of those things. Do we disrespect when when he went MIA? Right, and then um, reappeared on YouTube. He was yep. popping. <laughs> yep. So like he was he was more popular when he was gone than when he was there. Honestly, kind of. <laughs> it's kind of funny that's tough um, you know ninja was the most famous creator in the world for a while yeah um pewdiepie is still the most subscribed to creator i don't count t-series they don't they're just uploading music videos and clips from movies that's not a that's not a creator right like i don't know do you go with like well, it's not their original content, so. Right. Then do you go with, like, I don't know. Everybody always seems to love Markiplier and Jacksepticeye. Nobody ever talks bad about them. Whereas, like, PewDiePie and Ninja, a lot of people hate them. Nobody hates Markiplier. Right. Like, so do you give it to, you know, Wholesome Man? Do you give it to Tim the Tap Man so he can take fall Tim, damage from Tim's, the number one spot? Tim's got to be one of my favorites. Tim's great. Tim's like one of the only larger contents that I've actually sat down and watched. Tim's just great. I I just sit there and like I like to watch what he eats. On I like to watch. Dude, <laughs> it's sad that I have just become knockoff Tim the Tap Man at this point. Yeah. Eating yeah. food and dying to fall damage. Dude, you the do. chaos of my stream is equal to the chaos of Tim's. It can be for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Like, damn, it's great. Loved him. Yeah. Courage is great. You know, do you go Dr. Lupo? Because, you know, he's like the 
standout guy. Do you go Mr. Beast because he's like the fastest growing YouTube channel of all time? Like a year ago, he had like 10 million subscribers. He just hit 100 million. Like the dude is fucking firing. Because you remember when PewDiePie was going for 100 mil, Mr. Beast was the one like trying to boost him up to keep him out of T-Series. It was great. Mm -hmm. And now Mr. Beast is about to pass PewDiePie. It's wild. The growth of Mr. Beast is a whole other thing. But it it does make it tough because I don't think the seeding of it actually matters. But who do you put as the name with the number one next to it? Because I feel like that matters. I don't know. I To me, it would have to be, what you know, when you think of a big streamer, what's the first person that pops into your head? Ninja. Like, yeah. So it's Ninja. I would say Ninja's got to be the number one. All right. Because we're doing that's it. The first thing, that's the first thing that pops in your head when you think, oh, what's a big streamer? Ninja. That's the first person that pops in your head. He may not be the most popular or right. the most. At, at this point, know. he's not, but he was. Like, People right. who don't give a shit about online content creation know who Ninja is. Mm-hmm. And I think that's more than what can be said for a lot of other people. Right. Yep. Yep. So but I, I think he easily takes number one for me. Oh, anyway, that's doubt. my opinion. Oh, yeah. I, so. I think so. Like I said, it was really tough, truly, between Ninja, Pewds, and, like, Mr. Beast. Because, like, do you go with PewDiePie, who has been the k- king of YouTube for a long time? Do you go mm-hmm. with Ninja, who was, like, the king of all content creators for a while? Or do you go Mr. Beast, who is fast approaching taking over as king? Like, it's mm-hmm. it's interesting. Then, so after Ninja, we should probably start going through that crew of streamers, mm-hmm. I feel like. So this is where you add Timmy Tats. Yep. Tim the Tat Man is... Uh, phenomenal streamer i think everybody acknowledges that now um funny dude kind of a moron it's pretty great hey i mean look at us yeah. neither of us Dust are Dust talking about digging for the ocean though dog i mean I, neither of us believe I mean, that if he just goes out into his backyard and starts digging he will reach the ocean he'll reach water but not the ocean no, he, he the ocean because land masses just float on the water. Oh, jeez, it's my ex girlfriend. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> the, the only one that says, "How do you make islands float?" Which one? <laughs> the blonde I, I, one. I know, I know. It, okay, <laughs> she showed her hair color way too much. She, let's just say. Jesus. Uh, then you gotta add courage. The uh, best at yelling at Tim the Tapman and at everybody. Guys, 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 guys. I most wanted in a helicopter. You know what? I wasn't going to get involved, but let me crack my fucking knuckle. <laughs> See? <laughs> oh, I love courage. He goes in on him. Dude, that, the, that's the best <laughs> clip. Maybe ever on Twitch, I swear. I don't know. I, re- I really like the one where he's like, all right, now show me what you've learned from me. And he just turns and runs and jumps out the window oh. and dies from fall damage. Now that I'm thinking <laughs> about it, we got to add Z-Laner just for that clip. <laughs> Jesus. That one was so good. That one cracks me up a lot, too. That's why I ne- I got to never say shit like that, because somebody would do the same thing to me, and it would, it would hurt. Yeah. Yeah, I, I would jump out... I- not die to fall damage, but then I would shoot 127 rounds and hit one time. That's not <laughs> fair. I don't do that. And, and then after I respawn, I'll come in and not miss a single fucking shot. <laughs> that, you know what? That part's accurate. I'll miss every shot, and then suddenly I can't miss. I don't, I don't know. It's my way of proving that I don't have hacks, I guess. <laughs> yeah. So I, it just means you turned your hacks on. Oh, did it? Yep. Well, no, because yep. it's normally mid-gunfight. I go from not able to miss to, yeah, it's tough. Got to add Dr. Me, Disrespect. It, 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 Sorry, what? For me, it's like uh, how comfortable I am. Depending, If I'm comfortable, I, I usually am, have pretty good aim. But Fair. if I'm uncomfortable, I fucking miss all the time. It's I'm Fair. not like one of those. That's why I couldn't stand and play video games, because I have to sit down when I play video games. Fair. Fair. 
Fair. Um, but yeah, we'll add Dr. Disrespect. I know uh, not everybody loves the doc, but I feel like it's important to to add him. Well, I mean, Doc's just his own person. Like, he's just different than... Doc yeah, is... Imp- and everybody knows Doc. Too. Yeah. You know, who else wears an outfit like him and streams <laughs> right that's valid um but also just I, yeah doc's yeah. created a whole thing around himself he's he's done well let's yeah. see i think we gotta add tifu he he was competing with ninja for a long time never i don't know i never could watch a tifu stream they were just kind of boring i don't yeah. know but again that's just me i guess so like whatever. So I definitely didn't just pull up a list of the most followed Twitch channels so we can go through this. Um I am not including foreign Twitch streamers because none of the people who will be on this tournament watch them. I know that's kind of not fair. Right. But yeah. Like I've never heard of Auron play never heard of him i can't i can't judge whether he's better than anybody else so i should probably yeah. put that out there so nobody questions that part um there's xqc who is one of the biggest streamers on twitch he's currently the sixth most followed streamer ninja is still number one by like five million people that's it? Well, Just 5 million? Since 18.3 million followers is the most on Twitch, 5 is, like, a lot. That's like a third. Let's see. We got... You gotta add Pokimane. That's fair. Oh, I just realized this isn't gonna include all of the YouTube streamers, so that's kind of a pain in the ass. But whatever. Oh, actually it is, because they do still have Twitch accounts that are followed. Tim the Tapman had a lot of followers. That's interesting. Soda Poppin's tough, because, like, I've heard of Soda Poppin, never watched them. Like, do we include Soda Poppin? could throw them in there and just throw them on a bracket somewhere i mean that's that's the thing about it that feels like an easy win for somebody else but valid soda popping you're on the list i know i know you got myth formerly tsm myth but now he's just myth um he's just a myth he doesn't exist tommy in it he is a I think he's British. He's a British Minecraft streamer. I think. I think he's British. I know he's a Minecraft streamer. That much I know. I think he's British. He's somewhere over there. (laughs) Oh, yikes. Uh, Nick Merckx is another one. You know Nick. He's great. He was also part of Courage's rant. Yep. Why don't you go sit by the pool and drink two glasses of wine and get hammered, you PK wannabe? <laughs> <laughs> it's tough. It's tough. Um, my fucking knuckles. Gotta add Summit. Summit 1G. Which I honestly forgot he existed and have forgotten he existed for a long time. I don't know why. But that name, like, never pops up anymore. Mm. It's weird. Uh, Dream, the... Surprisingly, he's not the most followed on Twitch, but he would be the biggest Minecraft streamer in the world, I think, Mm. technically. Which is nuts. Obviously, Cypher PK literally just talked about him, you know, because that's who Nick wants to be. You PK wannabe. Mm-hmm. Cypher PK. 
Um, do we include Amaranth? You don't know who that is, do you? Is, no. She, like, s- kind of started the whole hot tub stream thing on Twitch. Oh. And she's, like, the weird ASMR streamer. Like, you know, the weird, like, with the weird cool. microphone that she, like, sits there and, like, licks. And it it's weird. But. She is the 23rd biggest streamer in the world. Yes, we can. So, like, I feel like the name's got to go there, but it feels a little, feels a little weird. (laughs) This this shows what you can get, you know, how much you can accomplish just by licking microphone. Whoa. (laughs) Whoa. Got to include clicks. Uh... Some of these aren't, like, ones I think everybody's going to know, so I kind of expect them to be gone quickly. Like Mongrel. Like Booga. He won the Fortnite World Cup, which is really why his streaming career took off. Not to say he's bad or anything, but he, like, he just wasn't the, I don't know. Got Tubbo. I know a lot of people love Tubbo. Quackity. A lot of Minecraft streamers right in this little area. It's very interesting. Quackity, George Not Found. Some of these we're not going to be talking about too much other than I'm going to say their names so you know they're on the bracket. Um, we'll go Dakotas. Um, it sucks because some of these are guys I've never heard of. So it's like, I don't know. <laughs> Dr. Lupo. Still the 40th most followed channel on Twitch. That's pretty cool. Fresh, formerly... I don't know. I don't know why he changed his name. Probably because it was offensive. But... <laughs> Fresh. He was in a bunch of Laser Beam videos. Laser Beam, you definitely ha- have seen his videos because I would have showed them to you. He was an Australian YouTuber. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Fre- like, he was the one who was good at the content. Fresh was the one who was good at Fortnite mm-hmm. to make sure he would win in all of his stupid challenges. <laughs> kind of like what y- I was trying to make you be. You were supposed to carry me while I was the one doing dumb shit mm-hmm. for content. Yeah. 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 Um, we got to add Ranbu. Technically, it's Ranboo Live, but whatever. Uh, Moist Critical, or should I say Charlie? Uh, He is the guy who has the one sound alert of mine. The, uh, God damn it. The, it was a misinput. It was a misinput. You calm the fuck down. God, this community's overreacting. (laughs) <laughs> that sound alert or the Anthony's that he likes to play on his soundboard he's pulling his cock out that's moist <laughs> critical yeah <laughs> I like when Funny things guy. get critically moist let's add Saikuno everybody loves Saikuno and Nikki. Th- Nick Nick A30 and that is all of the top 50 but that doesn't feel like it's everybody important you know what I mean mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying <laughs> what's up Jedi's picture oh I haven't seen people wear glasses like that in a long time what are they they're the, they're kind of like Doctor Disrespect glasses, except oh, no. they got like a purple lining on the outside. Oh no, Jedi! No, I love it, but no, the WWE superstar glasses or whatever. Oh my god, dude! <laughs> yeah, I love it. Yeah, it's great. It's a lot better than <sighs> mine, where I'm just sitting there like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mine's not great either, but it is what it is, you know. 
It's hard, it's hard to have a great picture when you're ugly. Ooh, do we add Critical Role? The D and D group. I feel like yeah, we do. Should have a shot, right? I feel, and I feel like a lot of people are fans of Critical Role. Well, there's not a lot of D and D dreamers out there. Ludwig. You know? Oh, we need to add Valkyrie. 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 Ray. I almost forgot about Valkyrie. That's tough. How? How could you let me do this? Here for a good time. <laughs> <laughs> Valid. Most popular Twitch streamers in August. Genshin Impact, which is a video game. Their Twitch channel is the most popular in August. That's pretty wild. Um, let's see. Who are we forgetting about? Carl Jacobs. He was formerly a Mr. Beast guy. Like, he was on the Mr. Beast stuff a lot. I don't know if he still is, but I know he streams on his own more now. Ms. Kiff's got to be on the list. It's another name you might not know. Did we miss Shroud already? Did we just forget about Shroud this whole time? That's tough. Well, Sounds I, like it. I guess Shroud is getting better seating. Actually, I don't know if that's true. Because I don't know how many seeds there are going to be. He might end up going against, like, Markiplier. I'm sorry. I don't care who you are. At least first round, I don't think you're beating Markiplier. I just don't. Nobody's going to accept Markiplier going out early. They're just not. Oh, we Disguised Toast. Everybody loves Mr. Disguised Toast. A lot of these names are names I haven't heard since mine not Minecraft, Among Us was super popular. Like Toast was Among Us. Um what's his name? Um uh, Sykuno was an Among Us streamer. I know he still streams, but like all I remember is Minecraft. Or fucking Among Us. What the fuck? It, why am I mixing those two up? This is a train wreck, so we better add train wreck STV. Train wrecks TV. STV, Jesus. I'm struggle bussing, dog. You want to come take over for me? <laughs> That's a very good idea. You want to take over this part for me? Thanks. No, no. Nope. Well, what the fuck? That's just rude. This is your gig. Nobody can take up your gig. I mean, I feel like a lot of people could do my gig better than I can do my gig. Probably. Uh, schlat. Got to add some schlat. The next question. Do we add the misfits, guys? You know, the really terrible, most people probably hate them, guys. Dark humor, guys. Well, I la I'm a fan of dark humor. Right, but... Not everybody is, but I, I, I'm, I'm upset that people don't like dark humor anymore. You know, <laughs> that yeah. is some of the funniest stuff out there, but people are offended. Sap nap. Right. Right. Karina Cobb. Quit being so offended. Just be like me and in, 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 in serious situations, make a joke. <laughs> that's what I do. And that's why people don't like me. <laughs> So I don't know if I recommend you following that advice from Wonder. <laughs> See, if everybody does it, then it becomes a norm. Yeah, but then it becomes not funny when everybody does it because everybody does funny. it. It wouldn't be as funny anymore. It's funny. It wouldn't be as funny anymore. It just wouldn't be. All right, I'm still scrolling through a list. I haven't added a ton of names, and I definitely haven't added a ton of names you know. But. Well, that's, I mean, 
we got out of names I know a long time ago, so. I don't think that's entirely true, but yeah, kind of. But the majority of them, anyway. Right? Like... We just have to just talk about content creators in general on the on the side. But I think that's that's the majority of the Twitch streamers that we need to really be worried about. We got 41 Twitch streamers. That's pretty good. But I am going to add a couple more. A guy you know, Russian Badger. Mhm. Got to add him. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go check, like, the people I follow on Twitch, make sure I'm not forgetting anybody that I will feel dumb about. Right. Try and do your best to not get called out by somebody like, hey, why'd you forget this person? Right? Like, dog, fuck. All right, let's see. Big creators that I follow. There's honestly not that big of a list, so... <laughs> But I, I like I follow a lot of people. I don't follow a lot of big creators. But I guess Phase Muse, I guess we can put on there. I guess. I guess. Um who else are we looking at? So I'm I'm trying to the, find something we can talk about. Plays on there. No. I don't I don't need to go out like that my guy i know i know i don't i don't need to hurt my own feelings like that by putting my own name in this in i want to hurt cup. your feelings i don't i don't want to hurt my own feelings like that <laughs> or make people feel weird when we're sitting here and i say you know all right ninja versus the geek slays who you got and you know people are like well we're on your show i can't like i don't <laughs> i don't like that i don't nope. <laughs> i don't like that now nah, you'd be out in the first. God, yeah, I hope so. Plays. Oh, he's gone. God, I hope so. But with my luck, I'd get paired up against somebody that you either didn't know or you didn't mm -hmm. like. Right. <laughs> and then, that, and then that it becomes case, this right, meme that I they make about? sure I keep moving on. <laughs> and like, I don't, I don't, because either it looks rigged or it just looks bad at some point. Mm -hmm. And I don't, I don't love it. All right, we're adding Swagger Souls and Fitz. We just kind of have to. Mm -hmm. um, he's more of a YouTuber than he is a Twitch streamer. We'll add Avery. I always forget about him. We'll add Creator. And Lose a Fruit. couple more people and now i think we're moving to youtube so now i need to find youtubers you got any youtubers that i wouldn't think of that you uh want to put on the list well obviously no 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 nothing all right well i don't let's, watch youtube too much let's start so. with mr Let's let's just. The only thing I can think of is like, uh, uh, what's his face the that does the um, uh, I'm illiterate. Oh yeah, those Swagger Souls who we just put on the yeah. list. Yeah, yeah. So we got That's PewDiePie, we got Markiplier, we got Jack Septicai. Got to add all three at the same time. They're kind of synonymous with each other at this point. Um, Mr. Beast is, like I said, he is now the fifth most subscribed YouTube channel. PewDiePie is the fourth. SET India is the third. Coco Melon Nursery Rhymes is the second. And T Series is the first. Tough. Heard a Coco Melon for some reason. Because you have younger, uh, you, you have nieces and nephews. Um, five no, Minute Crafts crazy. is definitely getting added. Everybody knows Five Minute Crafts. It's a terrible YouTube channel and they're really dumb, but everybody <laughs> knows it. So it's getting added. 
Dude Perfect has got to be up there. Um, I don't want to add, like, music artists. And that doesn't really do anything for me. I, I don't know where you feel, what you feel about that, but. A I'm lot not, of them are just not the stuff that's not their music, so. Right. I think we got to go old school, add Smosh. Even though it might not matter now, I know a lot of people loved Smosh. Do we add Fred? You remember Fred. The really annoying kid with, like, the really high-pitched, nasally voice back when. He was featured on, like, an episode of iCarly way back in the day. He was, like, the first... Him and Smosh were, like, the first YouTubers, if that makes sense. I know you'd recognize Fred if we showed you, like, a Fred video, but... I don't see why not. We're adding Fred. Let's add Fred. We'll add Fred. Just for the meme, we'll add Fred. Uh, <laughs> see the, again, YouTubers is where it gets tough. Because there are so many there are so many like YouTubers with over a million subs. So like how do you how do you go about it, you know? But I think we can. All right. I've, I'm going through a list now of YouTubers I'm subscribed to. That's going to be how we add some more. So you got to have Noah J456. He was like the biggest streamer on YouTube back before streaming on YouTube was cool. Zombies guy got to be there. Do we add Pat McAfee? Because the Pat McAfee show is live on YouTube every day. But, like, <clears throat> does he count? Because that show's also on the radio and, like, sports networks. And, like, he's also a WWE superstar at this point. Like, do we count him as a creator in this sense? I mean, he still created his own content, so and he, on YouTube. That's true. This is so, true. I mean, I, I, I would say that he's not necessarily disqualified from it. Okay. So we're adding Pat McAfee, and it's just another person that I actually know. Fair enough. Uh, we need to add Crank Gameplays. He did. He was the other guy in Unis on us. He was Ethan. That's Ethan. Mark and Ethan. We already have Courage, I believe. I said Courage, yeah. Um, this is also where it gets interesting. Do we, like, okay. So, like, if I want to stop and just say tech creators, right? There are some uh -huh. easy ones. There's Linus Tech Tips. Everybody knows them. They're huge, you know, whatever. So you add Linus Tech Tips. MKBHD or Marquez Brownlee is the other guy who is just as big, right? Then you got guys like Gamers Nexus. Um, Jay's Two Cents. Bitwit. Um, Paul's hardware, but then is that's like the big guys as far as I can remember. So like how lower tier do you want to go in some of these spots? Cause like Talos of tech is like a bigger tech channel, right? But they're not huge. Like 243,000 subscribers. Should that be a detractor from them making the bracket? Like, also, is it bad to make the bracket and then the first episode you get voted off because no one knows who you are? Like, at that point, was there a point of putting them on the list? Yeah, I don't know. Well, I mean, you never know. 
they might know who these people are and then right that's the thing we don't know how the guest who's gonna work through the bracket you're still gonna have to have people that are you know knocked off in the first round you know it's just gonna have to happen that's fair we're adding talos of tech then and we'll probably add some other tech channels when i think of more Mm -hmm. um there is sports creators like kenny beecham or as he would be more known k-o-t for q or what that abbreviation actually stands for is king of the fourth quarter good name for a sports youtube channel like that's a good one not gonna lie to you there um mr dalek jd another zombies youtuber tech source is obviously a tech channel that was that was a tough one to guess. Uh, <laughs> Good mythical morning has to go on the list. You remember their the video you watched of them would have been the oh god the yak penis potato chip oh. like will it potato chip. That it's a yak a yak penis. <laughs> yak a penis. We're having penis tater chips today. Got some yak a mole. <laughs> <laughs> will it penis? <laughs> I mean, will it? Ch- <laughs> that was a good episode. That was a good episode. It was funny. Was good mythical funny. morning definitely belongs on here. Um, Merc music absolutely does as well. Um, let's see. This is where it starts to get tough. Hollow Point should definitely go on there. Philip DeFranco as your news guy definitely deserves to be on there. That's where I get my news. That's how I like to stay filled in. Gotta add Laser Beam. Gotta add Muse Elk. I really feel like we're gonna forget somebody important sure. and it's going to make us look really bad i mean there's so many out there though it's right you know it, it's like naming you know popular music stars or something like that it's like you can name a billion of them and still miss one where they're like well you're stupid you know right there's a yeah, lot that there's part a lot that there. part's tough though Cause it's like, yeah. yeah, we're gonna forget people, but like, what well, do people care that we're gonna forget? Like, or are they just gonna be mad at us for not adding them anyways? Okay, yeah. so in that little time where we were talking, and I added Laser Beam, Muse Elk, Mr. Raffle Waffles, the zombies mm-hmm. YouTuber, Game Theory, Food Theory, and Film Theory, all the same YouTuber but different channels, and I feel mm-hmm. like they deserve their distinctions. Austin Evans, The Smith Plays. Now we're in kind of a I-don't-know spot with, I think that's the majority of the people I follow who have a spot on the list here. Mm-hmm. Oh, no, Binging with Babish. He's the chef who, like, makes TV show, movie, video game foods. Like, he makes them in real life. Okay. The goat. Um, All right. So, I need, let's go most popular, this is how we're going to do it. Gaming channels on YouTube. Like, I think we have to start this a little weird. Like, we have to go through and find, like, I don't want to allow cookies, but I will anyways. Uh, (laughs) Who are we forgetting? SS Sniper Wolf. 
That is not a name anybody ever remembers, but it's fine. She exists. Oh, all of the different phase guys. Phase Jev. Uh, phase Rug. That's all the... F- I, yeah, because they're phase guys. Everybody kind of knows the phase guys. That's just weirdly how it goes. Top 100 YouTube gaming channels sorted by subscribers. Here we go. Um... Dan TDM is a name. Let's see. Names of creators. Ali A. Just for his intro meme, I bet he wins. <laughs> the Ali A intro meme made the rounds and was huge. I hate it. I hate that. No, oh, this sucks. We got to add Technoblade. That's sad. R.I.P. in pieces. I hate that. But he deserves to be on the list, damn it. Quebble Cop. Lachlan, another one of those Australian YouTubers whose name I just spelled wrong in the bracket. That's good. That's good. I am really good at what I do, damn it. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> you you get to the finish line is all that's all that right. matters. typical <laughs> gamer come on guys i've typed 91 names in so far and we're not close to done so like fuck off uh, fuck off <laughs> that's all i got fuck off all right that is good i think now we can go by channel type We can go comedy. Who are considered comedy channels that we got to add? Honestly, I don't know a lot of these channels. Like, never heard of them at all. Well, I I feel like everybody kind of has their own comedy in their channels, you know? Well, that's fair. But, like, these are people who are, like, tagged comedy constantly. And I know none of them. So, not much. Not much we can add here. Because I'm not just going to add people because... This list says they're kind of popular, kind of. Right. Like, I don't know. Let's go education. Since most of those are kids' channels, we're not actually going to do that. Never mind. Yeah. Entertainment. What is considered entertainment? Those are like movies. Everything? <laughs> No, Mr. Beast is actually listed on entertainment. Oh. It's all entertainment. Right? Like, weird? That's like the whole point of, you know, making content on the internet is, you know, to be entertaining. I don't, I don't know. Um. Wow. Okay. How to and style. Five minute crafts. Okay. Shakira, I don't think should be giving a how to on anything except maybe how to survive prison. <laughs> <laughs> You heard oh, about that, right? Uh, didn't she get in trouble for like uh, tax fraud, tax evasion? Yeah, yeah. Well, she can do she can do a, vis- a video on uh, how not to avoid taxes. So, <laughs> right. If you're trying to skip out on your taxes, here's what not to do. <laughs> yeah, that's that's funny though. Um. Man, we're really running out to the end here, and it's a little spooky. So I don't, I don't like that we're at the end. This is supposed to be tech, but it's not, because it's not sorted by. Oh, sorted by. Let's go subscribers. Let's go subscribers. There we go. I might have just had this fucked up the entire way through. 
Mark Rober is definitely one of them. Um, Marquez Brownlee, Linus Tech Tips, Hacksmith. I know a lot of people like that guy, so we'll add Hacksmith. Um, what else we got here? Mr. Who's the Boss is another bigger guy. Who's the boss? Do we add Apple? Apple has a tech channel. So does NASA. <laughs> so does a lot of people, actually. But that's neither here nor there. Austin Evans. Electro Boom. I know a lot of people like Electro Boom. He's the guy who uh, I think Facebook thinks is an idiot. Because he's like always doing videos where he gets the shit electrocuted out of himself. But like Facebook cuts out all the part where he talks about what he's doing and just shows you the part where he electrocutes himself. Yep. Yeah. Everybody loves techno boom. It's true. Um, tech Quickie is just another Linus Tech Tips channel. And I don't feel like it's that different enough. All right. I think we're good on tech. I think we've gotten some good tech channels. Now I got to go back, though, because if these were, yeah, these were sorted by whatever SB Social Blade Rank. Yeah, fuck that. I don't care about Social Blade Rank. Got to be honest. Doesn't mean shit to me. But that still doesn't mean much of this is much different mm -hmm. by subscribers in sports are none of these are like actual channels it feels like like they're all like what you call it like sports leagues almost it's not yeah. creators and i'm sorry i don't count the WWE as content creators. I just don't. They're yeah. athletes. Mm -hmm. They are entertainment, but they're not yeah. content creators. There is a difference. Let's go to shows. What about shows? I don't love any of those either. That's about it. The top 500 YouTubers over the last 30 days. That's interesting. I don't think that works out either. So is that it? That doesn't feel like enough. Oh, because it's not. You got to add a bunch of shitty people just because they you have to. Jake Paul going on there logan paul is going on there um drama alert is going on there so keemstar um boogie 298 boogie 2988 he was the guy he's known for the video he's the big dude who's known for the do you drink my mountain dew do you drink my mountain dew let me smell your breath he, he's got to be on there he's got to be um, gaming YouTubers. I gotta just look that up because I I I'm I'm out of ideas here. No, I'm not trying to find another sorted by subscribers. Like I just want, like. Okay, here we go. Laser Beam, Markiplier, Jacksepticeye. PewDiePie, Vanoss. We almost forgot Vanoss. Dan TDM, we got. Captain Sparkles is a weirdo, so we're going to go. Oh, no. Wait. No. Captain Sparkles isn't a weirdo. There are a couple Minecraft YouTubers who are weirdos. I think I'm mixing Captain Sparkles up with somebody else. If not. Yeah. We'll just vote him out for being a weirdo, and it won't be a big deal. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty weird, so you no, can vote me like out. no, like a weirdo. 
like a creep. Like, yeah. Yeah. Some people were just bad. It was just bad. Um, I think oh, KSI, he was a big name there for a while. Can I get some, I need some phase members. Oh, I'm going to add Nade Shot on here. Oh, and Nade Shot. Casey Neistat. Um, God, who are some other ones? James Charles is a weirdo. But he's somebody a lot of people know. I don't know. Those aren't the... Te I don't know. We don't... I don't know. So we've got... Some phase members. We got Scissors. He made a bunch of Fortnite... Like the one, what was the fucking thing called? Like the death races that we'd do in creative mode on Fortnite. Those maps that. Oh, yeah. The like um, obstacle course death yeah. race things. Yeah. Scissors made a ton of those. God, I forgot Snoop Dogg's in phase. That's hilarious. <laughs> Because remember at the Super Bowl, he was wearing the phase chain. It was great. Yep. Wild. Wild. What a wild time we live in, my guy. Just a phase. It is just a phase, for sure. What if I just look up best YouTubers? Who pops up? Like, I don't want most popular. I want... Like, ooh, Ranker might be a good place to check this one. There we go. There's some more names we were forgetting about. Like, the odd ones out. Uh, he is a art channel. He, like, does story time stuff, but, like, draws the story instead of doing it himself zach king who was like super famous on vine for all of his like magic videos just really clever editing but he's yeah. important coyote peterson he's like trying to be our generation's uh steve Irwin. yeah yeah see these are names we would have forgotten without a ranker Jaden animations should also go on there Vsauce. How did we forget about Vsauce? That was like the best part of our school day. It, if you had Gifford's science class, because you could convince Gifford to play Vsauce videos for you. It was great. Especially on a Friday. Friday, you were just watching Vsauce. It was a good time. Um... Let's see. Who else? Who else? You know, I'll add the try, guys. This is... We got a lot of people in this tournament already. No kidding. I know we're over 100. Yeah, we're at 111 right now. Wild. Right? And there are still, like, big names that keep popping up that we, like, forgot about. Which is the bigger, more wild part. At least I think. I'm sure we could probably get to 200 and still have names that we forgot, you know. Probably, probably. Not going to disagree with you on that one. As much as I hate to, H3H3 goes on there. Roman Atwood goes on there. Super Carlin Bros for their film stuff. 
technically Star Wars theory, as much as I don't like the guy, should go on there. The Fine Brothers. God, how... I hate that Ray William Johnson was the first guy with over a million subscribers. Like, he fell off super hard. But if you if you knew YouTube back in the day, you know who he is. Mm -hmm. So it's important. Joe Santagato is funny, so. Santagato. All right. That's as far as it's going. Because it, the web page finally stopped loading. So there's our YouTubers. That's a pretty good selection, I'd say. Now, I guess we add TikTokers. And I was going to ask, do we do TikTokers? I think we have to. I think we have to. And they're content creators, so. Yeah, they are. I would say we should include podcast hosts, but the majority of podcasts at this, like the big ones at this point, are not creator-led. <laughs> They're like, oh, I did forget two people. Brooke AB, she's a streamer, and who the fuck is her boyfriend? Not, It's not Cypher, but it's something with an S. You know what? Syphilis. No. <laughs> 100 Thieves Creators. Uh, 100 Thieves Content Creators. Motherfucker. Let's see. I, I, because I don't want to leave out big creators. That feels bad. Mm hmm. Nico Lull, Too Hype. Where the fuck is this guy's name? It's anonymous. Why do I have to look up Brooke AB Symphony? Fuck! Ah. God. I just want to be your symphony. Jeez, I would have felt bad if I actually forgot those two. Like, genuinely would have felt bad. Ranker TikTokers. The most popular TikTokers in the world. All right, here we go. Here's where we add some names. Bella Porch. That's Parch, but whatever. I spelled it wrong. It's fine. Dixie and Charlie D'Amelio. They're technically content creators, and I hate it. Uh, Addison Ray. She's a big TikToker. I'm totally David Dobrik. Everybody remembers David Dobrik from back when he m made content people liked, and then suddenly he stopped doing that because I don't know why. All right, do you have some TikTokers you're thinking of off the top of your head? For some reason, I can't think of any. For some, I don't know why. I know I have a follow quite a few. But... Right. Like, I'm. Once I go through this, like, this list, I'm going to go look at, like, some of the people that I know I follow, go through maybe my liked videos and find some creators. Like, because again, I don't want to add super small creators. Um, just doesn't feel valid. But I can add, you know, um, uh, 
Mesa Windu. Mesa Windu. We can add the guy adventures in Ardia. He's the guy who does roll for sandwich. Have you seen those? The roll for sandwich guy? I think I might have. Okay. Those are pretty cool. I mean, I'm on TikTok quite a bit too now, so. Right. Thank like, you. You're welcome. You're welcome. It's all your fault. I blame you. Uh, the Carter Anderson guy, better known as that is not your slogan, bitch. Those videos are great. That is not your slogan, bitch. It's so good. Gives me serotonin. Uh, <laughs> Let's see. I think we got to add some of the sports guys. So Bladen Kirk from Stay Hot. Theo Ash. Matthew. Spawn Hour. I don't remember the one guy's name, but we'll add him to Elite Takes. I'm going to add the I'm Actually show on there. Hank Green. Everybody loves Hank Green. He's our community scientist. Yeah. Joe Bartolozzi, all he does is yell at his phone, but it's funny. B. Dylan Hollis. He does, he's the guy who does the cooking videos, and he's fucking hilarious. Carter PCs. Yeah, I'm trying to think of the guy that he's always doing, like, the uh, acting out the NFL teams or whatever. Yep, there, there's a couple of them that I... Like, the long-haired guy and then the one guy that's always wearing a... He's a he's a Bills fan. Yeah, but he's a Bills and Vikings fan. Yeah. And Vikings fan, yeah. We got Colin Ray... Nate Petrosky, he's like a homesteader guy, but his videos are super interesting. Rich Rosales. Oh, yeah, Wyatt. Wyatt Z World or whatever. Wyatt Z World. The, yeah. Thank you. That's one of them. I don't know if I ever liked the long hair guy's video for some oh, reason. Oh, I know I who you're thinking, but yeah. He's a Lions fan. Yeah. Poor guy. Yep. <laughs> Voice Monster edits. He's fucking hilarious. You do know him, but you don't. You might not know that's his name, but yeah. Nikhil Clayton. Straw Hat Goofy. He's everybody's movie guy, so we got to add him. Straw Hat Goofy. Jay Stubes. Stefan Johnson. Snack Daddy. <laughs> Tyler Jari. He's great.
Oh, uh, yeah, uh, did you get uh, what's his face? The the guy that's like, uh, um, I didn't see that coming. Probably because it hit me from behind. That's voice monster edits. Voice monster, yeah, you got yeah, it. Yeah, the holy fucking shit! I did not see that coming. Probably because I had my back turned. <laughs> yeah. Uh, being just John. Or as other people would know him, oh, well, it's gone. But Beerbong John, Jennings Brower, Panda Red, Youth Pastor Ryan. Again, I know we're going to leave off a bunch of... TikTok's wild, because you can see people that one day and yeah. never see them again, so... God, God and Angel. That one's a pretty good one. God and Angel. Yeah, you've never seen those? No. Where, Maybe not. Where they, they... It's just this guy that, you know... They act like they're God and Angel, and then they're like, what are they doing, you know? <laughs> I can't believe you've never seen those videos maybe i have i don't know but i'll add them <laughs> is that actually what the channel's called though god yeah, and it's angel called Wiles, with like the and not yeah. like actual a and d but the and mark god like and the... angels gotcha gotcha they're added so as to mention 20 i'm adding dark Here, chaco video video. you can watch some of the i know a lot of people watch them it's kind of funny <laughs> like, hey wonder sent me a video anti steezy gets on the list just because he is the reason ea is making skate 4 so he gets on the list just for that um Who the hell else? God, I miss her videos. What the hell happened to her? Don't know. She hasn't posted since like May of 2021. But she made cooking videos and they were great. I don't know what happened. It's pretty sad. And, oh, Joe Charman, the, yeah, I got skills, what you gonna do about it guy? Mm-hmm. All right, I think that's, I mean, a lot of it. I don't feel like I'm leaving out too, uh, well, I mean, somebody's gonna watch this and be pissed. Yeah. But... I don't know. I don't know if there's that many more people we can add without it being like a... I don't know. We're up to 160 currently. Yeah. And I think, if we're being honest, a lot of the biggest creators are here. What is going to be tough is that you're going to have like Ninja matched up against Joe Charman. That's a little mm -hmm. tough. That's a little tough, but that is, I think, going to be the bracket, I believe. So, mm -hmm. that's wild. Works for me. How do I finish this bracket? Oh, do I click the... Well, no, because we made Ninja 1 for a reason. There's a button mm -hmm. to shuffle the seating. I was like, oh, right. do I just make it completely random? I almost feel like I should, though. Fuck it, we're doing it. Who's the number one seed, though? Who's now the one seed? Creator! That one I don't feel right about. <laughs> I gotta go find Ninja's stupid name, which is gonna be impossibly hard now. Oh, I found it. He's gotta go to the top. Mm-hmm. 
we we spent like a whole 20 minutes at the beginning of this episode figuring out where ninja goes so bro all right but now it's ninja verse star wars theory you know what i'm good with that fuck that guy he's gonna get (laughs) slaughtered episode one i love it watch everybody not vote oh my god they vote star wars theory in over fuck it i'd be pissed (laughs) i'd overrule it i don't care overruled overruled so now we can go shake shake take a look at this bracket oh that's hilarious there are we we made too many seeds it doesn't like it (laughs) so the like round one like we have to do round one which is tough but like round two already has names filled in it like it's not just one single round it's kind of fucky i guess our bracket was too big (laughs) yeah i i don't blame it right But, yeah, here we go. It's we will have to, it. Yeah, we have the ability now. The first episode's going to be weird, I think, but hopefully well, after that we can... Because the first episode's not going to include every creator, which is a little tough. Mm-hmm. But, hey, it is what it is. We will be doing the first episode starting next Friday. What day is that? August 26th will be the first actual episode of the Creator Clash Tournament. Um, but yeah. Is there anything else we should talk about here, buddy? Well, we kind of covered everything we... Everything about this tournament we have covered. Is there right. just anything you want to talk about before we move along? Not really. Not really. All I'm right. content. All right. Well, then I I'm think... I'm content. You are content. That is true. Mm-hmm. But then I guess that'll do it for us. So yep. uh, thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.